Hey guys, let's play this game. Let's see how it goes. Now, if I have to solve this, this is how I'm gonna do it. Firstly, I'll have to divide both sides by so raised to power x. So if I do that, I'm gonna have um the root of two minus root two all over two raised to power x. Don't forget this is also raised to power x. So plus and at the same time I have the roots of two plus root two all raised to power x all over two raised to power x that gives us one. So thereafter, what next? I do some uh, arrangement here. So that gives me the root of two minus root two all over two. That's raised to power x all together. Plus this also gives me the root of two plus root two all over two all raised to power x, and that gives one. That is the first step. So the second step is now trying to bring out what is inside the bracket and resolve it one way or the other. So you agree with me that what is in the bracket here is the same thing as roots of 2 minus root 2 all over 4. Agreed? So we have all raised to the power hex here. Plus, you also agree with me that this is the root of 2 plus root 2 all over 4, all raised to the power x. Don't forget, everything equals 1. So that's what we have. So the next line of action is, expression here is treated and simplified. So let's take it this way. If I bring out my 2 minus root 2, all over 4, then I can still write it in the form of, that is, 1 all over 2 into bracket 1 minus root 2 all over 2, which implies that if I open the bracket, I'm going to have 1 over 2 minus, I'm going to have root 2 all over, sorry, this is going to be all over 2. So then I'm going to have root 2 all over 4, of which when I add, it gives me this. So thereafter, this number looks like a trigonometric number, but I'm happy to tell you that this root 2 all over 2 is the same thing as cos pi all over 4. So which implies that I'm going to have this equals 1 all over 2 into 1 minus the cos pi all over 4. So then I have this. So after having this, how can we actually simplify this? What I actually want to do is to convert what is here to a perfect square. In such a way that if I input it here, it's going to cancel the square root. I'm going to have it raised to the power of x directly. So I'm, I will also do so to this one here. So to do that now, what identity am I going to use? Let's go into the, uh, the double angles and the half angles. So I think cos arc, sorry, the cos pi over 4 is the same thing as having, this is 1 over 2 into bracket 1 minus into, then this gives me, 1 minus cos, sorry, 1 minus the sine square of pi over 8. It's the same. So what next, what will I have? I'm going to have the 1 over 2 into, so this 1 minus 1 gives 0. And the minus times this gives me, the, sorry, I omitted the 2. 2 is definitely there. So I have 2 sine square pi over 8. So as this goes with this, then we have the sine square pi all over 8. So now it's a perfect square. So which means that the square root of what I have here, 2 minus root 2 all over 4, is the same thing as sine pi all over 8. So completing with the x, so meaning I'm going to have the sine pi over 8 raised to power x. So this has, has been simplified into this. So the second one, which is uh, the square root of 2 plus root 2 all over 4. So if I'm going to write that's all raised to power x anyway. So if I'm going to write this out, I'm going to write it 2 plus root 2 all over 4. Then that gives us the 1 all over 2, just like what I have there. But well, this is positive, so I'm going to have 1 by 2, 1 plus, then I will have uh, the root 2 all over 2. So, and at the same time, I told you that 
the two over two is the same genus caused by omega four, so I'm going to have one over two into one plus cos pi over four. So then I proceed with that so that I can have the identity. But however, we are not going to use this identity just like we use it here. We're going to use the opposite so that uh, we we gonna achieve our aim of finding the value of x. So you can also agree with me that the cos pi over four is the same thing as the uh, cos square of pi over eight minus one. So this is true. So then here is gonna become one over two into one plus what is here? So that will be what? Cos square pi over eight minus one. So then I enclose the bracket overall. So at the end of the day, this is one plus, Opening open the bracket, I'm going to have one plus minus one, so and that gives us zero. So then I have the cos square pi over eight, sorry, that is two, I omitted the two also. So, and that gives us half, two cos squared pi over eight. So this goes with this, then I have the cos square pi over eight, so which is equivalent to what is here. So if that is equivalent to what is there, so we can actually find the square root by inputting it here. So, and that gives us, meaning that the square root of two plus root two all over four is now equals to the cos uh, pi all over eight. So that is what that means. So meaning that this raised to the power of x will be this raised to the power of x. So joining the initial one with this, I'm going to have the sine pi all over 8 or raised to the power of x plus the cos pi all over 8 or raised to the power of x. Sorry. Everything gives 1. So however, comparing the power after the long shower, we have to get our expression right of which this one in the trig identity means the sine square a plus cos square a. So we can actually use that idea to get rid of this question and get out the troubles of finding the value of x. So which implies that I can just say let a equals the pi all over a. So this becomes the sine x of a plus the cos x of a. And that gives us one which is equivalent to the sine square a plus the cos square a. Considering the power after the long shower, we discover that therefore x is equal to 2 is the only solution that would satisfy this equation. If you like what you see, please click on the like button. And also, of course, if you want to continue seeing something like this, you click on the subscribe button and also on the bell beside it to notify you when we drop our new content. Thank you very much.